Hey you guys, welcome back to Gaze to MD Mesky. I am here yet again with another video. I cannot believe it, but I am done, you guys. Done with first year of med school. And let me tell y'all, how do I describe first year? I don't even know, but I'm gonna give myself a moment of silence because I'm surprised. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so today I am here to give a couple tips on things that I wish I knew first year or like going into first year because y'all like literally one of the first things you get told on the first day of med school is that um, first year is basically like drinking out of a fire hose and I'm sure you've heard this analogy somewhere else but y'all they are not kidding. Let that sink in. They're not kidding. <laughs> They're not kidding. <laughs> and I was like, oh, whatever, it'll be fine. But no, they literally mean like a fire hose in your mouth. Maybe, a, I'm gonna say multiple fire hoses because y'all, it's a lot of work. And if you don't have the right resources, if you don't have the right um, support group, it could be difficult. But if you do have all these things, I think it is very doable so i have 10 things that i want to share with you guys that i wish i knew first year and the first one i would say is literally oh number one i don't want to do that <laughs> the first thing i would say is build social support as soon as you step onto the grounds of the campus and i understand that some people are introverts and you know like may not want to interact but i promise you in order to survive medical school it's so critical because like you're going to be studying countless hours of the day so if you don't have that social support it's just so hard to like stay motivated it's going to be hard to keep yourself accountable sometimes and it's just gonna be a very lonely journey for you so please get that social support because you also have to realize the more people you know the more resources you're gonna be aware of and you know you're gonna like figure out different ways of maybe like even studying that you may have never ever thought of so it's really critical to have that and number two is you guys please do not ever compare yourself to other students because you have to realize one um, medical school is filled with people who are naturally overachievers or as they call it in medical school they're going to be gunners so there's always going to be someone that's more prepared than you and there's it's probably people that are less prepared than you so you really need to focus on what works best for you and what's gonna like keep you going as well as keeping like your sanity and this includes like you know it could be like going to lecture or podcasting and I know I struggled with that because I feel so guilty for even like wanting to podcast but after trying to go to lecture for like a week or two like I just realized that's just not for me and it's not going to be the most effective way of learning for me so you really have to be comfortable making the decisions that are like really good for you and that are going to benefit you so don't be so like influenced by the decision of others that like you feel guilty in the ways that you choose to approach medical school and so number three I don't know what this looks like three anyways so um get involved early on this is so critical because like i was so focused on like um my academics that i was just like no it's okay like i'll get involved later on and then so it's like you push it from month to month and then you're gonna push it from like semester to semester so please get involved because i know like the academic aspect is gonna be very overwhelming in the beginning but please realize that you're gonna figure it out you're gonna find a way to like work with the amount of course load that you're gonna be getting and i'm not saying like you just have to be like the president of everything but just get involved so that you can at least have those connections when you do want to run with um for positions and stuff like that and so number four resources 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 y'all like medical school like you would think um there's like just one resource that you need to use and you're gonna do well but there's literally so many that it's so overwhelming i know like my first semester when i started like hearing about all these different resources i was just like uh which one do i use so then you just get so like um what is it so like mind blown about the amount of resources that you're just like not even benefiting to the best of your potential or the best of the potential of the different resources you're using because you're literally trying to like 
dip into like so many different resources so one thing i advise is like please figure out like let's say like three resources that work for you and then try to stick to that and try to like master that because trying to do like literally like more than five is so hard but there's literally so many different resources in medical school and um with that i think some of the resources i think like are absolutely critical is um the first aid book this book right here aka the holy grail for um what is it first like step exam second year it will because it highlights like the high yield stuff for you so you have a basis of like the way in which you're going to study and in the way that is probably going to be tested so if you have that early on it's really critical i know i didn't get mine till like second semester because i just ordered it off of um american medical association when i got my membership with that but if you can get your hands on a book whether it's like an old year um an old textbook please do that and i know other resources include like anki and boards and beyond so i really encourage like all of you to just take the time to resource research some of uh, the different resources before going into school because let me tell you like trying to do school while trying to figure out how different resources work is so overwhelming and it's literally so hard so if you can like get that out of the way it'd be really helpful and um, i'm gonna put some of the resources that a lot of medical students use in the um in the description box below so please look there and um what is it so number five is your study methods are going to be changing like you have to be okay with that there are some people who will figure out the best study method for them like first exam and then there's people like me like that i literally took like the whole year to try to figure out what's gonna work for me so please don't be overwhelmed if you're gonna have to try like literally like five different six or um methods of studying like just be confident in yourself and know that you're gonna figure out what works best for you but don't be discouraged in like navigating different ways of studying that's just a part of the first year and um number six is gonna be find a mentor um like when i say a mentor it doesn't necessarily have to be like a physician and i know that's going to be beneficial like later on but i mean like in terms of whether it's a second year a third year fourth year a resident like it's really beneficial because these people have already done um the things that you're about to do so if you have those people as like guidance for you it's just like so helpful they're gonna give you like you know different study techniques they're gonna give you um when it's a different resources and they're gonna like allow you to know of so many different things that you're not gonna know and that you're not gonna figure out like on the first like day of medical school and um number seven um please please take care of your mental health it is absolutely okay to have fun i guarantee you that it is very almost like nearly impossible to do medical school if you're not taking time for yourself like it's okay to take a couple hours off it's okay to take a day off if need be as long as like you um make yourself accountable for those hours later on but you're gonna need those days and you're gonna need times where you just want to watch a show where you just want to talk to someone you know hang out with your friends and that is okay because at the end of the day above education is your mental health so please do not forget that um, number eight, um, please remember, <laughs> I think I had a hard time with this, that life does not stop while medical school, even though it does because you're just like so secluded, like in an area, like just studying all the time, like life is still happening for you, it's still happening for all of your loved ones. And with that being said, like you really have to figure out a good balance of life in medical school and life outside because all of us have people um our loved ones that we want to check up on and we want to like you know have like those good relationships with so it's really critical that you do that and just don't forget to live your life in some extent as well um number nine please do not ever let the amount of work ever deter you from your passion or make you forget 
um, the passion that you went in for like this is just only a part of medical school like after second year is clinicals so just remember this is just a part of the ride and that every single provider before you has done this um, so please keep that in mind and remember the people who you wanted to help remember like you know the things that you want you want to do like later on besides like all the whew, Lord all the study and number 10 last but not least please do not ever give up on yourself like it is a learning process it's gonna be overwhelming you're gonna have times where you just feel inadequate but don't give up on yourself because you're there for a reason and you're gonna make it as long as you're willing to put the work into it and just know that you can do it I believe in you and and with that being said you guys that's the last of my um, tips or things that I really wish I knew like first year I hope these tips were like uh, are gonna be helpful for you in the future and if they are please give this video a like or a comment and please let me know um, what else you'd like to see well um, until next time I'll see you guys later bye